right. Let me see. Gonna look at my phone, make sure this is working, make sure there's sound. I've uh, never done this before. It's gonna be really exciting. So, let me see here. Hey. All right. And we'll wait. We've got like three minutes, so we can wait till everybody gets here. Um, if you can or can't hear me, if you want to let me know, and I'll try to figure that out as well. Meanwhile, I'm tuning into my own story time, which is kind of weird. Oh, there I am. All right. Can you guys hear me? Because I can hear me in my phone. Yeah? Yes, I can hear you. Whoa, now I can hear myself in there and in here. There's a delay. It's very weird. So I'm going to turn this off and um, keep this on, and we'll start our story time in just a second. All right, we've got two minutes. And we're all going to hang out here together. I'm really excited to do this. I think this is going to be fun. Yeah. I love that I can see everybody watching it. I love that I can see your comments down there. Awesome. I'm going to take a drink of tea here while we wait. It's actually kind of cozy. I hope you guys are super cozy at home also. Yeah. Can you guess what we're going to be reading about today? Hmm. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. I can give you a sneak hint before anybody else comes. It starts with, let me see, this letter. Hmm. So there's a clue for you. It's going to start with this letter. And you'll have the sneak peek on the letter when we come to guess the letter. So it's an advantage to get here early. <laughs> Yeah, hi everybody. I'm super excited to see you all here. This is really fun. Like, not quite as fun as the library, but still pretty fun. Still pretty fun. Okay. What are we at? Another minute or two? One more minute. One more minute. Awesome. <clears throat> and if at any point you can't hear me or anything like that, I will uh, just shout it out to me and I will try to give you some more volume. Yeah. I'm super excited. Cat in the Hat's a very good guess for what we're going to read. Kind of right. There is a cat. There is a hat. But it's not the Dr. Seuss one. <clears throat> so, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Good guesses. Hmm. Good, good, good guesses. I'm going to give it like another minute in case people are trying to find us. Stuff like that. Just going to keep chatting to you from my living room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how's everybody hanging in there? Good? Yeah? Sorta? Sorta. Yeah. It's kind of where we're at. It's alright. It's kind of an interesting change of pace, right? See some thumbs up, some hearts, okay. People are, people are hanging in there. <clears throat> That's excellent news. <laughs> oh, I see. Hi to my dad, who's watching. Hi, dad! This is kind of fun, right? People can watch it who can't normally watch it. <clears throat> We've got a whole bunch of people. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to read. We're going to sing. It's going to be kind of like our normal story time. Kind of different. Just like this is kind of like normal time, but kind of different. So it's going to be a lot of fun, though. And I think, let me look at my clock, 10.01. Let's do this. Let's get started. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Good morning, everybody. Hi, good morning. How are you doing today? Doing all right? Hanging in there? Awesome. Toddlers are pushing all the reaction buttons. Excellent. Good. We like the interaction. So welcome to Storytime, everybody. My name's Elizabeth, and I am a librarian at Lauda District Library in Grand Haven. <clears throat> and I usually do a Friday morning story time, and I can't go a Friday morning without doing a story time. So we're going to do a story time today, and we'll do a story time next Friday, and we'll just keep going as long as we need to do story times. So today's story time is coming to you from my living room probably to your living room. Um, but other than that, it's going to be like our normal story times. We're going to sing, we're going to do a little dancing, we're going to do lots of stories, and we're going to have a lot of fun. <clears throat> so, today, to get started, 
Let's start by warming up. We're gonna warm up with our hands. Can you show me your hands? There they are. Awesome, we're gonna clap our hands just like we do every day in story time. You ready? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello to all our friends at story time. We clap and say hello. Yay, very nice. All right, <clears throat> let's do our feet next. Can you warm up your feet by stamping them? We stamp and say hello. We stamp and say hello. To all our friends at story time, we stamp and say hello. Yay! <clears throat> Very nice. All right, last one. We have to wave and say hello. So, hi everybody. Hi out there. Wave. Wave hello to everyone in your house. Hello. Wave hello to all your friends out there in their own houses. Hi, we miss you. You ready to wave? We wave and say hello, we wave and say hello to all our friends at story time. We wave and say hello, yay! Great job, everybody. All right, so just like in our normal toddler story time, I have my puppet bag with me today. Hmm, and there is something in my puppet bag. Now, if you were here a little early, I got a sneak peek of the letter in my puppet bag. Let's see what it is. Does anyone remember what letter? Hmm. It's the letter, what's that one? It's a C, that's right, it's the letter C. Hmm, so can you think of anything that starts with the letter C? Hmm, I'm thinking about carrots might be the orange that made me think of that. I'm thinking about carrots and cookies and cupcakes. Yeah, doing a lot of baking and eating. Um, I'm thinking about chairs, a lot of sitting. And I'm thinking about something that's in my puppet bag. It's an animal, a puppet animal. And it starts with the letter C. So it starts with a k, k, k sound. Hmm. What do you think it could be? Oh, I see some guesses out there. Let's see. All right, so this animal can be a lot of different colors. This one in particular is orange and striped. Hmm. And it has whiskers. It has a long tail. And this one says, meow, meow. What could it be? What says meow? What has whiskers? What starts with a k? sound. It's a, a cat. That's right. I see a lot of guesses. A lot of you knew it was a cat. All right. So here's our cat. Our cat that starts with the letter C. And we always like to sing our ABC song with our puppet once we guess it, right? That's right. All right. Do you think you can sing with me? The ABCs? Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Great job, everybody. All right, let's say bye to our cat. Bye, kitty. See you later. Put Kitty back in the puppet bag. Meow. And I have our first story. So our story is about a cat, but not an orange cat. This cat is actually a blue cat, which is kind of strange. And you might recognize this cat. Anybody know who this cat is? Yeah, Pete the cat, right? We love Pete the cat. So I've got a Pete the cat story for you. And I bet some of you know it. Now this story is by Eric Litwin. James Dean drew the pictures. But we're not gonna read the story today. We're gonna tell the story today. That's a little more fun for online, right? All right, so Pete the Cat, I love my, what do you think? I love my white shoes. That's the one we're gonna read today. And it goes like this, Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. He loved his white shoes so much that he sang a song about them. All right, now if you know it, sing along, ready? I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. 
I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Splat. Uh-oh. Pete stepped in a big pile of strawberries. <gasps> strawberries? What color did it turn Pete's shoes? Reddish, pinkish, red. It turned his shoes red. Oh no, did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He said, cool, I like, I like red shoes. So he kept walking along, singing his song. Ready? I love my red shoes. 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 What? Uh-oh, Pete stepped in a big pile of blueberries. Blueberries? What color did it turn his shoes? What color are blueberries? That's right, blue. You got it. Now, Pete's shoes were blue. Did he cry? Goodness, no. He said, all right, I like blue. And he kept walking down the road singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 Splat. Uh-oh. Pete stepped in a big puddle of mud. Ooh, mud. Uh-oh. What color did it turn his shoes? What color is mud? Brown. Oh, brown. Muddy shoes. Good thing there is hiking shoes because it's going to get muddy. Now, did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He said, groovy. I love brown and he kept walking down the road singing his song I love my brown shoes 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 splash splash uh oh guys Pete stepped into a big bucket of water Ooh. and you know what happened all the brown and all the red and all the blue all got washed away and then what color were his shoes again? Hmm? <gasps> they were white, but, uh-oh, drip, drip, drip. <gasps> Ooh, they were really wet. Ooh, wet shoes, that wouldn't be very comfortable. And they're kind of squeaky, squeak, squeak, squeak. <gasps> Did Pete cry? Goodness, no, he said. All right, I'll wear wet shoes. And he went walking along, singing his song. Ready? I love my wet shoes. 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 And the moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, no matter what crazy stuff's going on, you keep walking along, singing your song, because it's all good. Yay! Great listening, you guys. I can tell. I can tell you're great listeners even from here. All right, well, we're done with Pete, so I better take my Pete hat off. All right, good, looking good. So our stories today, just like Pete's shoes, are all about something else that starts with the letter C. Hmm, so they're not all cat stories today, although we did have some, but they're all c -c color stories. They're all colorful stories today. So, we're gonna do a little song about the colors that we're wearing today. So take a look at your clothes and see what colors you have. Like what color is your shirt, your pants, your socks. Oh my goodness, your shoes if you have shoes on. Yeah. If you're in the privacy of your own home and you wanted to count the color of your underwear, fine by me. We are gonna do a little song where I say a color. And if you're wearing that color, Listen up for what dance move you're gonna do. All right, so it starts with a little beat on our knees like this. If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any red. Okay, if you're wearing red, put your fingers on your head. <gasps> if you have red, put your fingers on your head. If you're wearing any red, any red. Very good, okay, let's do another one. Hmm. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, ready? Put your fingers on your shoes. 
or your socks or your feet. If you're wearing any blue, any blue, hmm. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. If you're wearing any yellow, ready? Wiggle like a bowl of jello. Whoa! Wiggle if you're wearing yellow. If you're wearing any yellow, any yellow. Hmm. What other colors? If you're wearing any white, any white. If you're wearing any white, any white. Hmm. If you're wearing any white. Ready? If you're wearing white. Stamp your feet with all your might. Stamp those feet. If you're wearing any white, any white. <clears throat> what color haven't we done? If you're wearing any green, any green. If you're wearing any green, any green. If you're wearing any green, who's got green? Wave your hand so that you're seen. Let me see if you're wearing green. Wave those hands. If you're wearing any green, any green. Hmm. Ooh, we gotta do this one. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. Hmm. If you're wearing any pink, it's a little tricky. Make your eyes go blink, blink, blink. If you're wearing any pink, any pink. Mm hmm. Okay, one more. If you're wearing any black, any black. If you're wearing any black, any black. If you're wearing any black, put your fingers on your back. Can you reach your back if you're wearing black? If you're wearing any black, any black. Good job, everybody. Yay! Now, some of you might have a color that I do not have a good rhyme for, like um purple. Purple, make a sound like blurple, blurple. I don't know. Orange. What about, ooh, brown? Make your hands go up and down if you're wearing brown. Yeah. Good work. I bet you guys are wearing all kinds of colorful things today. Maybe even colorful pajamas. I was tempted. All right. <clears throat> I have another story for you. Now, this story is another story that we're going to tell instead of reading the book. The book is by Karen Beaumont, and it's called I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. Okay? But instead of reading it today, I'm going to tell it, and I'm going to tell it with this. Do you know what that is? It's a big old paintbrush. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now this story, it's kind of a cautionary tale about what happens when painting gets way too crazy. So this is what not to do. All right, it's kind of silly. You ready? It goes like this. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the door. <gasps> oh no. And the curtains and the walls and the ceiling and the floor. That's gonna be a mess. And I heard my mama holler like she never did before. She said, you ain't gonna paint no more. Hmm. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say. But there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. Uh-oh. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, just a speck. Gonna paint my, what's this, neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, but I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what's the harm if I paint my, what do we think? Arm, that's right, can you paint your arm? Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. Ooh, but I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Ooh, but I see some black. So I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg. Gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, but I'm not complete till I paint my, what do you think? Feet. Paint, paint, paint. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna 
paint no more. But I'm such a not gonna paint my what? No way! But I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. Y'all don't faint cause there's no more paint. Hmm. So I ain't gonna paint no more. The end, yay! I bet some of you could guess those rhymes, couldn't you? Like take some red and paint my head. Yeah, some of them are pretty silly rhymes too. All right, friends, we have done a bunch of stories. Let's do a little rhyme, a little song. We're gonna get our hands moving. Can you wiggle your hands out for me? Give them a good wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Now this song, if you wanna stand up and do it, you can. If you wanna stay sitting down, whatever you need to get your wiggles out. We're gonna put our hands up high for this song. You ready? Put your hands up high. Put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle them so. Give them a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, next part is our elbows. That's where your arm bends right there. Can you bend your elbows? Put your elbows to the front. Put your elbows to the back. Put your elbows to the side and ready? Quack, quack, quack. That's right, like a whole bunch of ducks. I like that one, it makes me laugh. Let's do it one more time now that we all know the punchline. Ready? Get your hands ready. Here we go. Put your hands up high. Put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle them so. Elbow time. Ready? Whoop. Put your elbows in the front. Put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Yay! nice ducks. I always like those duck quacks. All right, I have another story. This one has some props, so let me get out my stuff. I'm going to scoot over here. I can still see you. Now, look what we have for this story. What colors? You see that one? Yellow. And what's this one? Blue. And red. We've got three buckets of paint. And one bucket, this is going to be our water bucket. I'm going to put it over here. We'll tuck it right back there. So this story is called White Rabbit's Color Book. And it's from a book by Alan Baker. But we're going to tell it with our props today. Again, it's just more fun. So, White Rabbit's Color Book. This is White Rabbit. And one day, he was hopping along through the meadow when he saw three cans of paint. Well, that's strange. Can you count them with me? One, two, three cans of paint, and one bucket of water. Hmm. Well, that's weird, he thought. What a strange thing to find in the meadow. But he was a very curious rabbit, so he thought, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I jumped into one of those cans of paint. Let's see. So, he hopped over to the yellow paint and he got ready to jump in. He counted one, two, three, jump, and he jumped into the yellow paint and he swam in the yellow paint. Can you swim? He swam around and he splashed around and he swam around. Another messy paint story. And when he hopped out, what color do you think he was? He went in the yellow paint and look what happened. Oh, <gasps> what color? He was yellow. Oh my goodness, this rabbit loved being yellow. He went out and played in the sun. He ate a bunch of bananas. He did all the fun yellow stuff. But after a while, he started to get curious about those other cans of paint. And he thought, hmm, what would happen if I jumped in the red paint. Hmm. So he walked over to the red paint and he counted one, two, three, jump, and he jumped into the red paint and he swam in the red paint. Can you swim? He swam around, he splashed around, he swam some more. And when he jumped out, hmm, now what color do you think he's gonna be? Hmm, yellow rabbit 
red paint. <gasps> Do you see what color? Orange! Red and yellow mixed together make orange. That makes sense. So he had a great time being orange. He ate carrots. He went to the pumpkin patch. He did all sorts of fun orange stuff. But after a while, it was time to take a bath, right? Occasionally you have to take a bath. So he hopped over to his bucket of water. He jumped in his bucket of water and he washed. He washed his hair. Can you wash your hair? I guess his fur. He washed his hair and his fur. He washed his paws. He washed his ears. And when he jumped out, what color do you think he was when he got all clean? <gasps> he was white again. Yeah, he washed off all those colors and he was white again. And he had a good time just being a normal white rabbit. But eventually, he started to think about those colors again because that was pretty fun. So this time he thought, hmm, what if I hop in red all by itself? So he hopped over to the red and he counted one, two, three, he jumped into the red and he swam and he splashed and he swam some more. He had so much fun in that paint. And when he came out, what color do you think he would be? A white rabbit in red paint Look at that. He was red. That's right. And he had a ton of fun being red. He ate strawberries. He rode around on a fire engine. Woo -woo. He ate tomatoes. It was a great time. But very curious rabbit. He's thinking about the other colors. And he's thinking, you know, I haven't even tried this blue paint yet. Should I jump in the blue paint? And of course, he wanted to. So he hopped over to the blue paint. And he counted one, two, three, and he jumped into the blue paint. And he swam around in the blue. He splashed around in the blue. He swam some more. And when he came out, hmm, red rabbit, blue paint. What do you think is going to happen? Do you see what color? Purple. There's a good shot of the purple. He was purple. Red and blue mixed together make purple. Hmm. Well, the rabbit really liked being purple. He ate grapes, he ate eggplants. It was a lot of fun. But eventually, again, bath time. You got to do it once in a while, right? He just started to get a little sweaty. He needed to go take a bath. So he hopped over to his water bucket. He jumped in his water bucket and he started to wash. He washed his fur. He washed his paws. He washed his little puffy tail. And he washed off all the paint. So now, I bet you know what color he's going to be when he washes off all the paint. <gasps> white again. That's right, he washed off all the paint and he was white again. But there was still a little paint left in those buckets. And he wanted to try another color. So this time he thought, that blue was really fun. I liked turning purple, it was cool, it was fun, I liked swimming in it. I'm going back in the blue all by itself. So he counted. One, two, Three jumped into the blue and he swam around. Swim, swim, swim. He splashed around. He splashed paint all over the place. And what color do you think he would be? White rabbit, blue paint. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look what color he was when he hopped out. Blue. Ooh. And this bunny had an amazing time being blue. He went and picked blueberries. He swam in Lake Michigan. He had an amazing summer. It sounds great. But after a while, again, this bunny loves change. And he thought, I haven't been in yellow in quite a while. I'm going to hop back in that yellow paint. So he hopped over to the yellow and he counted one, two, three, jumped into the, into the yellow. And you know what he did? He swam around. He splashed around. He swam some more. And what color do you think he turned? Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow makes green. That's right. It makes green. Blue and yellow mixed together made green. Well, bunnies love green. There's lettuce, there's grass, there's all sorts of good stuff to eat. He had an amazing time being green. He thought this is a pretty good color to be. But after a while, he started thinking about washing off all that paint again. So he hopped over to the water bucket 
And he looked in, but, uh-oh, no more water. Hmm. All right, he said, I'll, I'll add a little more paint. So he looked in the yellow. Paint's all gone. He looked in the blue. <gasps> no more paint. He used it all. <gasps> Check the red. He looked in the red. There was a little tiny bit of red paint left. All right, he said, red'll do. Hopped over to the red and he counted. One, two, three, jumped in. And he swam around and he splashed and he swam in that little bit of red paint. And guess what, when he came out, does anybody know what happens when you mix red and green? It's a little bit of a tricky one. Hmm. Think about it. Think, what do you think when he came out? Red and green mixed together. Oh my goodness, it makes brown. When you mix all the colors, yellow and blue make green, and green and red makes brown. Well, brown was a great color for this rabbit. He ate chocolate, he splashed in mud puddles, he had a lot of fun. And he thought to himself, you know what? Brown is the perfect color for a rabbit like me. And that's the color that he decided to stay. And he lived happily ever after as a brown bunny. The end. Good work, everybody. Nice listening. That's a long one. Nice work. All right, I'm going to scoot these out of the way. I have another song to teach you. And, hmm. Okay, this one's a very silly song. It's kind of a silly camp song, I think. And it's about... The Princess Pat. Hmm. Now she's a fancy princess, so she has this move. Can you do this? Yeah, it's kind of like a fancy uh, Egyptian arm move. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was a princess. All right, you ready? It goes like this. I'll take it slow. The Princess Pat lived in a tree. Can you make her tree? She sailed across the seven seas, just like our letter. She sailed across the channel too and she took with her a rig of bamboo okay that's the most important dance part can you do that a rig of bamboo yeah it's a good sitting or standing one okay sing about the rig of bamboo a rig of bamboo now what is that it's something made by the princess pat all right ready it's red and gold and purple too that's why it's called a rig bamboo. Good. All right. Got another character here. Now Captain Jack had a mighty fine crew. He sailed across the channel to, uh-oh, but his ship sank. Oh, no. And yours will, too, if you don't take a rig of bamboo. A rig of bamboo. Now what is that? It's something made. By the Princess Pat, it's red and gold and purple too. That's why it's called a rig of bamboo. All right, let's do that chorus one more time. Ready? You ready to rig of bamboo? A rig of bamboo. Now what is that? It's something made by the Princess Pat. It's red and gold and purple too. That's why it's called a rig of bamboo. Great job! And if you need to watch that one and learn it many more times, we'll have this uh, archived on our Facebook page, so you're welcome. Let's do one more story. Let's do a story from a book. We gotta do one book. And this story, I think it's one that a lot of you know, and you can help me read it, okay? So you can help me at home, just like we do in story time. Sometimes we read all together. We'll read all together now. So it's called, do you recognize it? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? It's by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle made the pictures. Now, I realize that the words probably look backwards, don't they? Like we're in a mirror. But that's okay. We're going to use the pictures to tell it. So, unless you're very skilled and can read backwards, in which case, great. Let's open it up and let's read it together because I see our big brown bear. You ready? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a... Red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck 
looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a, what's that? A green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. So many colors of cats today. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? Oh, all the animals, let's do their sounds, ready? I see a brown bear, grrr, a red bird, tweet, 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 a yellow duck, quack, 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 a blue horse, nay, a green frog, ribbit, 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 a purple cat, meow, a white dog, woof, 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 a black sheep, ba, a goldfish, what would they say? Blub, 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 make a fish face, yeah. And a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. The end. Great reading. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay! Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. This was really fun. Let's do it again next week. So we'll be here again 10 a.m. next Friday. I hope you had a lot of fun reading about colors. There's a lot of fun color stuff that you could probably do. You could make colorful art. You could do some color mixing experiments. Maybe not on the walls, but some color mixing experiments. Maybe go for a walk in your neighborhood or a hike outside and see what kind of colors you see out and about and in nature. All sorts of fun stuff. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I loved being with you. I miss you guys a lot. Can't wait to be back. But in the meantime, we will do this. I hope everybody stays healthy hangs in there, stays sane, and um, has a lot of fun and enjoys hanging out at home a little bit. Let's end with our goodbye song. We're going to wave goodbye, just like we do at story time. Yeah. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad you came to play. Bye, everybody. See you next week.